Hello, dears. Welcome to Beautiful Heart. I'm Delaine, also known as Lulu. Today, I will be sharing with you, dears, my top three most favorite products from City Girl. I've been buying a lot from City Girl, and generally, I enjoy most of their products, especially their lipsticks. I love their lipsticks formula, and I find that their lipsticks colors are very pretty and very suitable for Asian skin. Out of so many products, these are my top three most favorite products and some of them I've been repurchasing it a few times and stocking them up so in this video I'll be sharing with you the products demo and the reasons why I love them so much if you dears are unsure of what to get from City Girl I hope that this video can help to serve a guideline for you if you are new to my channel hello and welcome I love to explore new cruelty free makeup products from the drugstore brands the indie the clean beauty brands and the Sephora brands Hopefully with my videos, I can help you to select better which are the appropriate products for you and also your favorite colors. So as to save you your time, money, effort and headaches to brush through tons of products out there on the market. So if you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. Thank you so much. And now, let's get started. This is a limited edition blusher to celebrate their 15th anniversary in 2020. Love this sweet, cute, girlish packaging. The blusher is embossed with sakura flowers inside here. So pretty, isn't it? I bought this for about a year and so far the flower is still here, haven't disappeared yet. I love the texture and the finish on my cheeks and I love to swirl my finger around the blusher. The texture is ultra smooth, it is not powdery. It feels smooth more like a cream but without the greasiness of the cream. Usually I will just use my finger or the blusher brush to apply and it glides on smoothly on my cheek. It has a glow to it and this makes my cheeks seem more healthy, radiant and smooth. It doesn't show any texture on my skin. And this blusher contains no shimmer at all. It comes in two pretty colors, peach and pink. They are pigmented. As I'm surrounded with strong studio lightings, the blushes got washed out. I applied three layers so that you dears can see the colors better. However, in real life, you can just apply one, the maximum two layers because two layers in fact will be too strong. So overall, I'm very happy with these two blushes and how it performs on my cheeks. The only downside is, this is too pretty especially the inside picture over here and that's why I can't bear to use them and also they are limited edition so yeah it's more like I admire them, I love them but I don't really want to use them this is my most favorite drugstore cruelty free eyebrow pencil actually I mentioned this eyebrow pencil a few times it comes with two ends one is the pencil which you can turn it like this and you can also turn back this is a retractable pencil and the other end is the spoolie where you can brush your eyebrow first before you draw the eyebrow with the pencil and also to smudge the excess I love using the slim precise eyebrow pencil the most out of so many eyebrow products but a few brands either they are too slim and break easily or they are finished in just one or two weeks time this Silky Girl Expert Brown is slim, not easily breakable, and can last for quite some time. The product claims to be waterproof, but I haven't tested it out with water. As you just probably can see from the product demo, it is easily drawn and blend on the eyebrow, and this is long-lasting. Eyebrow to me is the most difficult to draw. Sometimes I feel to draw a good shape, sometimes I love my eyebrows, and sometimes I draw uneven eyebrows. <laughs> With this pencil, it is so much easier to draw a good shape But having said that, I'm actually slapping myself now I just shave my eyebrow in the afternoon with one up higher than the other And the difference translates clearly when I draw the eyebrows <laughs> But not the eyebrow pencil spot, it's my fault But you dears can actually see that these eyebrows are easier to draw with this pencil There are only two colours under this range which is this number one natural brown and number two the dark brown and I usually like to use two colors together the dark one at the tail 
and the lighter one from the beginning to the midpoint. And these two browns matches my colour. However, I hope that they can come up with more colours, especially maybe an olive grey colour, so as to match my black hair better. And whenever there's a promotion, I stock them up. So I recommend this Silky Girl Expert Brown Slim Liner to any dears who likes to draw their eyebrow easier. Hahaha, <laughs> I keep mentioning these lip tints lately. I think you dears must be tired of it, but I still can't get over it. As I mentioned just now, generally I love most of the Silky Girls lipstick formula and their colours But recently, I'm really stuck with these lip tints I did a dedicated swatch and review video of these all 5 colours of them And if you are interested to know more details, please refer to that video I will link it over here on the iCut and also in the description box below And today, I'm wearing this number 2 rosy on my lips and also on the cheeks all of these 5 colours are very beautiful I like this colour the most which is number 2 rosy and bought an extra one as a blusher Sometimes I will use these lip tints as the base for the blusher and the sticks and layer with another powder blusher on the cheeks or a lipstick With this Silky Girl MLBB lip tint as the base they help the additional layer of the cheek and lip colour much more long lasting the finish on both the cheeks and lips are very pretty They are long lasting on both areas, doesn't transfer onto the mask, look sheer and natural And because they are sheer, as a blusher it seems like I'm blushing from within On the lips it seems natural and it helps to smoothen my lines That's why I'm stuck with this lip tint As you look must buy especially if you want to wear lipsticks or lip products under the surgical mask So these are my top 3 most favourite products from Silky Girl Besides the blusher, I keep repurchasing the eyebrow pencil and I repurchased one of the lip tint colour over here as a blusher I actually, as I mentioned in my previous videos, I would like to buy more colours from this range so that I can use them as a blusher and they are non-transferable to the surgical mask I hope this video is helpful for you and now dears, it's your turn to share with me what are your 3 most favorite products from Silky Girl? Please comment in the comment section below yeah. Thank you so much And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise True love is born from understanding Thank you dears for watching If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell notification button below for my future videos I love to do beauty products review So if this is your cup of tea, please join in my YouTube family May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead See you next time, bye! And before you go, please watch these two videos over here Thank you!